Oh, what a busy offseason it has been for the Rangers. For Chris Young, the executive vice president and general manager, this was his first full offseason in which he had complete autonomy over the roster, and it's been pretty obvious where he wanted to go, and that was to address the starting pitching. Now, a year ago, a lot of young arms, of course, were in that rotation. There were some good things that happened, but one of the areas in which they struggled was command. The Rangers starters last year tied for the highest walk rate in all of Major League Baseball. See why I wanted to address that, and he did in a really big way. Now, we knew John Gray was going to be back year two of a four-year deal. He was very good when healthy last year, but the first question they had to get answered was could they get Martin Perez back in a Ranger uniform, and they did. 2022, was a career year for Martin. It was good to have him back in Texas where he belongs. It's good to have him back in 2023. They brought in Jake Odorizzi via trade from the Atlanta Braves. Right-handed veteran has been around a long time and had some really nice stability to the rotation. They also brought in as a free agent Andrew Heaney. The left-hander spent some time with the Dodgers last year. Of course, we saw him for years when he was an angel. He was great last season. We saw the strikeout rate jump considerably. A really nice piece to add as well. And that alone probably would have been good enough to put together a pretty good rotation, but see why wasn't done. He wanted some big right-handers for the very top of the rotation, and he got them. Nathan Ovaldi, who has been an ace in the past, big right-handed arms, has a big split finger, one of the best in baseball, knows how to get swings and misses, knows how to induce a lot of weak contact with that pitch, is now a member of the Rangers, but he doesn't have to be the ace, and that's because Jacob deGrom is, and Jacob deGrom, the former Cy Young Award winner, now a Ranger on a five-year deal, one of the best in the game. We've seen it from him throughout his career over his last 12 starts last season he was incredible including his very last start in the postseason we saw a fastball averaging nearly 100 miles an hour to go along with the slider and it's a devastating pitch that Jacob deGrom has in that mix so Chris Young and the Rangers have put together a very deep rotation with big arms at the very top some veteran left-handers in the mix as well this is a rotation that is built to win in the postseason <laughs>